Hello, Virgo, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you very much, Virgo, for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. So, Virgo, today we're going to cover quite a lot today with your soulmate journey for the rest of May 2024. Let's have a look at what cards are for you, Virgo, for your other person, and anything else you need to know. So, yes, we will be covering quite a lot, and I will be clarifying the reading with the spellcasters. For those who are new, my name is Gigi, and welcome. Super excited to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every week you get two readings and also a bonus weekend tarot reading. Awesome. So let's begin, Virgo. Let's find out. What is it that you need to know, please? Your soulmate journey for the rest of May. One, two, three. Underneath the deck, what do we have? We have the Eight of Swords. This is giving you a heads up already, Virgo. Be careful what you pay attention to in terms of your thoughts, negative thoughts, negative self-talk. It's just giving you a heads up because it's very easy to focus on the problems and not the solutions. Do not be a prisoner of your own mind. Let's split the deck. We also have the world. You'll be starting a new cycle, coming completely full circle. Like I said, I've said this before. The world is your oyster. This is great for travel, money, career, love, anything you want. You're ready to leave everything behind, start a new chapter, but you're also taking with you the wisdom, the knowledge, the feedback, everything that you've gained throughout the past, you're bringing in a lot of knowledge. Excellent. Let's have a look at your cards, please. What do we have? Nine of Cups, beautiful. Four of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so you are a celebration of your life, Virgo, with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the card of wishes. So think about like the star, this is the minor arcana. So you have a lot of wishes. There's a lot of things that you still want to accomplish, succeeding. And I will say this already whatever milestone you get, any milestone that you manage to accomplish, celebrate it. Celebrate all the little things. I don't care how big or small, you are a celebration of your life. There will be a reason to celebrate. Something that's going to be announced, there's going to be a reason to celebrate. You may hear about the announcement of a pregnancy. Nine cups does represent nine months. There could be an engagement, there could be a wedding. There's going to be a reason to celebrate with friends. Now we have the four of pentacles. So what are you thinking? You're thinking, I cannot be close to anyone. I cannot trust certain people. As you can see, the owl is keeping everybody at an arm's length. You're afraid of losing money, perhaps. There could be money going somewhere that you wish it wasn't going. And you're just keeping your money close to your chest because unfortunately, yeah, there could be money going somewhere and you could be in a position where you're surviving, not living. What are you feeling though? You're feeling like the ultimate queen. I love this. So this is Taurus and Libra energy, the empress, the ultimate queen. So this is a card of fertility. Notice that I mentioned pregnancy here. Now we have the fertility card. So yes, this could mean pregnancy. Perhaps some of you are planning of starting a family perhaps. And the empress is showing when you, what the actual true meaning of the empress is is when you plant something on the ground and you watch it grow in any 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 area area of your life whether it's family love romance and you have a lot of strong feelings towards your person you have a strong connection you have you're feeling like the empress whenever you're around your person let's have a look at your person's cards please Ooh, lovers nice the King of Pentacles, Two of Wands. The Lovers, represented by Gemini Energy. It is the card, of course, of love, romance, feeling that you can be yourself around this person. So your person feels very comfortable around you. In energy-wise, they just feel that they, they can just be themselves. They don't have to hide anything. They don't have to pretend. Now, we also have the King of Pentacles, you're being represented, Virgo, as the beating heart of the reading. So I'm going to say that you're more the leader of this relationship. You like to lead. You like to explore ideas. You're very grounded, responsible, but also structured. 
Notice that there is a pentacle right in the middle. So you, you're actually good when it comes to money. Despite what you may think about money, you're actually good at it. You are. You're also quite the nurturer. So you'll always put others before yourself. You're always there to help. And we also have now the two of wands. Your person needs to decide about something. This decision is coming from the heart because they're already perched on a wand. So they're already making a decision. Okay, I need to do this. I need to make a decision. Something I just want to also point out that Virgo, you're being represented as quite the leader as a major arcana and also a core card. While your person, we have a minor and a major arcana, but you're showing as a very important figure in this relationship. Let's have a look. Okay. There's going to be an opportunity coming your way with the four of cups. Try to, in other words, get out of your head a little bit, Virgo. Because this opportunity is going to make you feel inspired. Sometimes you may feel a little bit disconnected, like bored. Oh, God, I'm so bored right now. No, this is going to turn things around. Ten of Wands. Mm. So the Ten of Wands can show, be careful of not doing something of too much. Because this could be a stressful moment. Try to drop these wands. Ask, for example, your person to help you. Try not to do everything, Virgo. Because again, I want to see when I clarify this reading, what's causing so much stress here? And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. I love the Six of Pentacles. It's showing, again, a very generous offer. It's just above your person. It's showing both of you being generous and equal with each other. It's absolutely beautiful, this card. It's one of my favorite with the Six of Pentacles. So overall, it's a fantastic outcome, Virgo. I actually do see both of you really working together, hunting together, compromising, and just being a team. But let's clarify. Let's, I'm going to use the Spellcasters now, Virgo, to clarify this reading. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these tarot cards, that's down below in the description box. Fifi and I only recommend the best. So let's have a look. What else do we need to know in regards to this reading, please? Shuffle these cards, clear out the energy. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know in regards to the soulmate journey for the rest of May? 2024, please. Okay, let's split the deck. We have choices and we have options with the seven of cups. So it could be more than one offer coming towards you. You may feel that, I don't know which option to take. Do I take this? Do I do that? Do I do this? It's okay, Virgo. Whenever this makes an appearance, just ground yourself. Remove the emotions and make a logical decision. This will be regarding your person. Something that they may be offering you. It could be related to the Six of Pentacles, an offer. Let's split the deck. We also have the Knight of Wands. Excellent. So think about changes, offers, and opportunities. It's a call to action that you will need to decide, yes or no. But it's going to, it's going to be a great offer because you also have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, abundance. Everyone's like happy, raising their glass. Excellent. Like this card is just after, here we go, the Nine of Cups. Like I mentioned before, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. Let's have a look. Nine of Cups. Here we go, temperance, Sagittarius energy here. It's all about now's not the time to be impulsive. Do things step by step. Go with the flow. It's also the angel of love and devotion. Do say, do take some time for yourself. Love yourself. Pamper yourself, whatever it is. But just do things step by step. Do not rush. Whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, you will accomplish it, absolutely. Nine of cups, you're celebrating. But do not skip, do not be impulsive, take your time. The four of pentacles, here we go with the three of pentacles. Okay, again, these fears, you have nothing to worry about. 
because with the three of pentacles, yes, your person wants to be team Virgo. Your person wants to put their input. They want to be part of your world, Virgo. So if there has been, for example, oh, what's this person's intentions? I can't trust them. It's going to be okay because this has been confirmed with the three of pentacles. Now let's look at the empress. Wow, look at this. Three of cups, invitations, celebrations. Now we have another card indicating celebrations, socialization, just like this card and the nine of cups. So Virgo, any invitations that come along your way, and again, this could be announcement of a pregnancy. This could be any announcement. Say yes and go. You must go. There's going to be a super good reason why these people are raising their glass. What about the lovers? Yeah. Six of Swords. Excellent. So we're moving away from turbulent times and into calmer waters. If you and your person have been experiencing, you know, setbacks, challenges, people not getting along, it's going to be okay. You're moving away from that with the Six of Swords. You said everything that you needed to say, and now you're moving back into harmony. The King of Pentacles, also with the Fool. Don't be afraid, Virgo, to take risks, take chances. And I get it. If you look at this card, you can't see the ground. You can't see. Well, how far, how far away is the ground, this person taking that leap? Of course, never throw caution out the window, but do take chances. If it feels right for you, yes, it's the card of innocence, curiosity. Go for it. Yes, Virgo. The two of wands. Yeah, here we go with the five of swords. So like I said before, your person needs to make a choice. They need to choose something. Now, again, if your person, and I want to go back to this card here, if there have been challenges, setbacks, well, they need to come to terms with their own behavior. Have they been selfish? Have they been stubborn? You know, all about me, 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 me. Well, this card is showing, you know what, maybe it's time to own up to our own behavior. Maybe it's time for us to really realize that, okay, we haven't been acting best. We haven't been treating Virgo the best of respect. So I feel like your person here is coming to terms. They're finally realizing, okay, I've got to do something about this. And perhaps there was even a temporary separation, like a break between the both of you. And they're realizing, well, no. I want to be back with Virgo, the Four of Cups, also with the Queen of Pentacles. Notice that this has come out. So this opportunity is coming towards you, Virgo. Something, and, and again, if there was a break between the both of you, I can see you here, not feeling good, you're feeling a little bit sad, a little bit bored, and all of a sudden, boom, this person contacts you. The Ten of Wands, also with the King of Wands. Your person's seriously stressed about this situation. Your person is worried. How are you going to react? How are you going to take this? So, yes, they are a little bit stressed. This can cause a bit of stress on you too, Virgo. So just remember what I mentioned earlier to drop these wands. Do not be afraid to ask for help. The Six of Pentacles also ends with, I love this card, we have the Strength card. Leo energy, courage and strength. So this situation, yes, it will heal. Strength is showing the return of health. This is showing both of you coming together, resolving your issues, being generous with each other. Because I feel like your person's actually realizing, well, they can't live without you. They need to be with you. So they will find all the courage and the strength to be with you. And here we go. See the judgment card. You're going to be obviously in a position of power, Virgo, where you're going to be judging your person. You're going to be listening to what they have to say, their behavior, everything. And because judgment has made an appearance, this is going to happen a lot quicker than what you think. So yes, your person is going to contact you. Like I mentioned before, keep your phone close. There will be some form of contact, some sort of message here that's coming towards you. So Keep your phone closed because I feel like, yeah, they want to reach out. They want to come back. And ultimately, yes, I think you are going to take action. We also end with the queen 
of wands. The Queen of Wands, it's all about taking action. It's like if it feels right, yes, you're going to take action. And I do feel, yes, as the outcome, this relationship can, re can be resolved. It can be saved, especially with the Six of Pentacles. It's showing that both of you are being generous with each other, really coming together, really finding a common ground and a solution. So this is a fantastic reading, Virgo. Even though there's been ups and downs, even if there was a little bit of a break, it's like, look, especially here with the lovers, both of you are still connected to each other. It's like There's like a cord that keeps you guys connected and it cannot be cut because the bond is too strong. Thank you very much, Virgo, for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.